Shalom. Today we're going to pick two more words that are very similar, small words, and compare and contrast their meanings. You can click the link below if you still need a font chart. So the first pair of letters is Aleph Mem, and here we see the final Mem. These two letters together make a couple of words, the first of which you might be familiar with is M, which means mother. You might recognize more readily the informal form for the word mother, which is ima, which has another aleph behind it. So we find this in Genesis 2.24. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. This is any mother, mothers in general. Judges 5.7. The inhabitants of the villages ceased, and they ceased in Israel until that I, Deborah, arose that I arose a mother in Israel. So she is not the mother of Israel. She's in the place of being a mother. We never even hear about her children if she had any, her biological children, but she became a mother to the nation in a time of distress. Proverbs 6.20 My son, keep thy father's commandment and forsake not the law of thy mother. This is part of the reason that in modern Judaism, the ethnic identity of being Jewish is followed through the mother. The mother is the one who trains the child on her knee. This is a little bit different meaning. Ezekiel 21:21. 21, 21. For the king of Babylon stood at the parting of the way, at the head of the two ways, to use divination. He made his arrows bright, he consulted with images, and he looked in the liver. So in this sense, the mother is the origin place, the, the place where the roads are together, but then they split. Now, im, with a different vowel, means if. And like all these small words, they're not always listed in the Strong's. Even if you're on Blue Letter Bible and you do a search for if, it will pull up all the entries usually, but the Strong's number will not be printed if you look for it. Genesis 4, 7. If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Sometimes we have some unusual translations due to the nature of, of Hebrew. Genesis 14, 23. That I will not take from a thread. Literally it says, if from a thread, even to a shoe latchet, that I will not take, if I would take it, anything that is thine, lest thou should say, I have made Abram rich. Genesis 24, 21. And the man, wondering at her, held his peace, to wit, whether Jehovah had made his journey prosperous or not. In Hebrew we say, if not. Genesis thirty-two thirty-six. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except... Thou bless me. If you don't bless me, then I'm not going to let you go. So we see the two pictographs. The Aleph is the strong one, and the Mem is the waters. The waters always represent the people groups. So the strong one of the people is the mother. She's the one that holds a group together. The concept of if comes from binding two ideas together. If this, then this. So a related word is a cubit, and we can think of this, as we saw before in the Ezekiel passage, of the origin of something. This is the original measurement, the cubit. Genesis 6.15, and this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, the breadth of it 50 cubits, and the height of it 30 cubits. And again, as a concept of being a measurement, Jeremiah 51.13. O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, thine end is come, and the measure of thy covetousness. Amma also means a bondwoman or a handmaid. And again, we have this concept of the person who's holding the people group together. Genesis 21.10 Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. Genesis 31, 33, And Laban went into Jacob's tent, and into Leah's tent, and into the two maidservants' tents, 
but he found them not. Then went he out of Leah's tent and entered into Rachel's tent. And a not so frequently used word for a people group, Ummah. Psalm 117 verse 1, Praise Jehovah, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. Daniel 3, 7. Therefore, at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and all kinds of music, all the people, the nation, and the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Now there are other words for nations. We're going to see another couple of them in a minute. And then there's another word, which is goy, goyim, which I covered in a different presentation, and I'll put a link for that below. So while we are here on Aleph Mem, there is another word for nation people, which is la'om. And if you have ever been to Israel, you have seen the many, many banks, bank le'umi, which basically means the national bank. It is not related to the word for mother, Aleph Mem. It has its own root, Lamed Aleph Mem, Genesis 25, 23. And Yehovah said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. Psalm 47, 3. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. Isaiah 34, 1. Come near, ye nations, to hear, and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world and all the things that come forth of it. So the other small word, which is sometimes confused with the Aleph Mem, is the Ayin Mem. And you can recognize this small word and also use this as a mnemonic to help you remember which is Aleph Mem If or Ayin Mem from the word Immanuel, which comes from Im with Anu, us, El, God. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Immanuel. So we have this basic meaning, ayin mem, im, which means with. Again, it's like the small words. They don't always appear with their strong's number. If you search for with, probably everything will come up. But if you search this strong's number, you, you will not find every entry. Genesis 3, 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit, thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Like all the prepositions, the personal pronoun ending will be attached to this word. So with her in Hebrew is one word. It starts with im, but then it has a suffix that means her. Genesis 18.23, And Abraham drew near and said, Wilt thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Adding more confusion to the discussion of what is the word for people or nations, the word am means people also. Genesis 11.16, And Jehovah said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Genesis 19.4 But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. Genesis 34.16 Then will we give our daughters unto you, and we will take your daughters to us, and we will dwell with you, and we will become one people. From the incident of Dinah. Psalm 3, six. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. So this am, um, this can be a people group, or it can be any various assortment of people. In the pictographs, we see the I, and again, the waters, the people. The concept here is when... When there's a people, a people group, we can see the massive number of people. There's a related preposition, umma, which has a, a similar concept of with, but it can also be with as against, or maybe more like in conjunction with. Second Samuel sixteen thirteen, And as David and his men went by the way, Shim'i, went along the hill's side over against him, and cursed as he went, and threw stones at him, and cast dust. Ecclesiastes 5.16 And this also is a sore evil, 
that in all points as he came, so shall he go. And what profit hath he that hath labored for the wind? So here's a scripture that gives us an opportunity to see the im and the am next to each other. It's an interesting verse for another reason. Joshua 17, 15. Vayomer alehem Yehoshua. And he said to them, Joshua, Joshua is speaking, im am rav ata, if a great nation you are, if you are a great nation, alelecha hayaara, go up for yourselves to the forest, uvereta lecha sham, and clear out for yourself there, be'eretz hapirzi v'harifaim, the land of the parasites and the refaim, he atzlecha, because it is too narrow for you, har Ephraim, the Mount of Ephraim. So when the portions were being given out, Ephraim, tribe of Ephraim, had a complaint that they didn't have enough room for themselves. And Joshua gives them this advice. If you don't like it, go clear out that land up there in the forest and you can have it. The interesting word here is to clear. And you can see that it has the same root as Bereshit bara, to create. Bara, for those of you who know your binyanim, this is the pa'al. It's the simplest meaning. And in all of Tanakh, the verb bara is only used for God. Only God creates. Here, this is a stronger form of the verb. It's the pl. But it gives us the sense of clearing something out or having something empty. And, and one of the questions about creation is, did God create everything from nothing? And in the language, we see that a little bit because bar, bet resh, can mean pure. The question is, can anybody create something from nothing, even God? Or does there have to be something there already for him to create it from? I don't know the answer to that question, and I'm not going to address it here. This is the only use of this bara. It's in a different binyan. It's stronger. And the idea is of clearing the trees out off the land. Until next time, tasimit ha'inayim, ahashamayim. Keep your eye on the sky. Your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.